In the early spring of 1943, a battalion of infantry were pulled out of the hills around Tunis. For 13 weeks, they had endured the hard, bitter fighting, the rain and the mud. The rear guard of this battalion was C Company. They had provided the spearhead of the battle and had been in constant engagement with the enemy. Now they were due for a rest. The battalion was going to reform and refit. These then were some of the men who had battled for Tunis. Major Gerard, C Company commander, Company Sergeant Major Gill. Oh, not, not quite Algiers, Sergeant Major, but seven days rest will do them some good, even here. Just in time, sir. They've had about as much as they can stand. I know. They're not the only ones. The company had been reduced to barely two platoons, a handful of battle-weary men. From 14 platoons, Sergeant Nichols, Private Tweddle, Private Thomas, Private Wilson, Dear yeah, Sarge, is it true? Always what true, Tweddle? That we're going home to reform. Don't you believe it, Sarge? I'll believe it when I get there. Hey, Mohammed! Mohammed! Middleditch, the Major's batsman and company runner. And from 15 platoon. Sergeant Gates, Private Clark, Private Wentworth, Corporal Bean, Private Jarvis. Look, it stands to reason, Sarge. 116 when we started. And look at us now. They'll have to reform us. I don't know what's wrong with you fellas. Give you a couple of hours out of the line, you think the war's over. Oh. Tough, thanks, sir. Heard the rumor, sir. They say Jerry's piling up for another push around midges. I've heard that one before. A big one, sir, this time. And we're getting replacements, they say. Heard that one before, too. It's a fact, sir. There's trouble coming. How do you know, Tom? Seventeen years in the army, sir. That's how I know. It's long enough not to listen to rumors. God, this place is alive with mosquitoes. I wish one would sting me. A dose of malaria would suit me down to the ground. You're too tough for them, Tom. Me, sir? With my little white skin? Oh, they love it. Same as my old woman. Fed drives her crazy. Major Gerard, sir! Yes, Middle Ed. Commanding officer wants to see you in 15 minutes, sir. Right. General's on his way, I think, sir. I know what that means. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. Felt it in me bones. Not a cup of tea, sir. I'm just gonna brew up. Get out. Right, sir. I'll lay a kid out. It was too good to last, sir. Now, oh, better get them sorted out, Tom. And for pity's sake, keep them cheerful. It looks as though they're gonna need it. Right, sir. All right, you gorgeous bunch of heroes. On your fat feet, C Company. See you in his tent? Yes, sir. Oh, come in, Jared. Find yourself a seat. Thank you, sir. You'll be glad to hear we should be getting some replacements at last. Very glad, sir. Is the Eighth Army up to strength? <laughs> well, they must be. I wish we were, because we're mounting something pretty big ourselves and we'll need every man we've got. As I understand it, the objective is Tunis. Wasn't it always, sir? <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, a special job has come up and it's been passed on to this battalion. The GOC wants to establish a gunner observation post way out in front, with an infantry company for local protection. The general will explain it to himself. He's on his way here now. If it's of any interest to you, I put the company's names in a hat. Yours was the one that came out. It's that sort of a job, is it, sir? I'm afraid so. I can also tell you I'd have chosen you in any case. You're the best man for the job. When's this outing due to start? This evening at dusk. I have 32 men left, sir. It's not a company, it's a collection of odds and ends, and they've earned their rest. They can't be driven any further. They can always be driven a little further, Jared. There is a limit, sir. Alan, you're making it difficult for both of us. I'm sorry. You're assuming personal responsibility for the life of every man under your command. You can't do it. Don't you, sir? Damn it, man. Do you think I should find it easy to order you to this? I'm only thinking of the men, sir. So am I. Very well, sir. The General's arrived, sir. No, thank you. You better wait outside, Jared. I'll call you.
Sergeant Gerard. Take him, Maid. Why, what are you doing here? I'm on this joint. You're not on it, too, are you? Afraid, sir. Andrew? Sounds like quite a party, doesn't it? It might very well be quite a party. Who's commanding? You? Looks like it. Good. The General's ready to see you, sir. Thank you. I'm sorry to break into your rest, Gerard. You're taking on this little job for me, I believe. Yes, sir. Good man. Now, listen carefully. Von Arnim is expected to hit us in this sector during the next 36 hours with at least a division. Right. Now, I want some guns ranged onto his forward positions for two purposes. First, to break up his attack before he gets going. Second, to support our own show. Now, we haven't enough ammunition for a barrage, and that means directed gunfire. You understand? Every shot must tell. Yes, sir. I want an advanced observation post, practically looking down the enemy's throat. Your command, Gerard. Captain Meade here will take care of the ranging. You can call in a complete regiment, all 24 guns. That's how important it is. And the enemy must not know you are there till he has to. Is that clear? Yes, sir. One question. What happens when he does know? Well, I shouldn't be surprised if he tries to winkle you out. But it's essential that you hang on. That OP must function. Anything more than a company would be too conspicuous. But anyway, I can't spare it. You'll hold it to the last man in the last round, or until you get orders to pull out. You understand? Perfectly, sir. Good man. Now then, just this side of the Bosch outposts, there's a low ridge. Do you see it? Now, patrols have reported a deserted farm tucked into the side of that ridge. Have you got it? Map reference 2735. That's the place. The farm in square 2735. There it is. There's the ridge. The enemy are there. And we're here. There's some sort of tower in the farmyard. That'll be the observation post. We shall defend it. All clear so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. We rendezvous with Captain Meade, the gunner officer, at the junction of these tracks. When we get to the farmyard, we dig in. I'll give you further orders then. Any questions? What if an enemy patrol should come snooping around, sir? Not one of them must get back. There must be no shooting. They'd hear it a mile off. That means bandits. How are the men taking it, Sergeant Major? Not too good, sir. And they don't know it by the half. And I thought we were going home. Never mind about home. What about our week's rest? Supposed to have a week's rest, we were. Strike me dead, I resigned from the army. Oh, shut up, Harris. Right. We move off in five minutes. No smoking, no talking. Right, sir. Pizza, nice and sweet. Thank you, Mr. Liz. Death and glory, ruddy suicide job. That's what it is. Do it, such a chap, Fred. Want the boys to hear that sort of talk in bad enough shape as it is? Oh, come off it, Tom. Think they haven't caught on? They're not so dumb. Oh, it's always the last man, last round. I've never seen it happen yet. Come on, leave them a minute. Let them finish their smokes. A couple of platoons left, and them at half strength. A bunch of shagged out expendables, and they call us Charlie Company, expect us to do the job of a couple of battalions, and then they... Stop your belly aching, Jim. Here you are, Wilmot. There's your tea leaves. You know, one of these days, the wogs is going to catch up with you, selling them second-hand tea leaves. And when they do, they're going to slit your throat from here to here. <laughs> no, I mean this! <laughs> we don't our share. More than our share. We ought to complain to the Union, that's what. Lousy, rotten lot of perishers. Well, let's get out of this little do first, eh? Have you heard what they say? No. They say we won't be going home till after we've got Tunis, not before. Tunis? I don't think there's any such place. Tunis is one of their mirages they talk about. You know, I've been thinking. Here, Clarky boy, why don't you and me get... All right, C Company. Take us out. Fall in. All right, 15 platoon. Fall in. Over here. Over here, 14 platoon. No mail, I suppose, Sarge. No. For God's sake, stop worrying about your ma, will you, Twiddle? We got enough to worry about. Come on, get Billy. Mm, boy. Uh, come on now, it's all still tight. Nappy rations up, Sarge? Nappy rations? What do you want nappy rations for? You'll all be dead tomorrow. <laughs> all right, clock. Get fell in, 15. Look sharp. Oh, 
Well, I'll be up during the night, sir. If there's anything else you want. More men, sir. And some anti-tank ones. Ready to move off, sir. Thank you, sir, Major. I'll do what I can. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you all. Follow on, C Company. Company of quarters. And punch. Four aim two. And punch. Fifth aim to soon. And punch. On time. By the way, what shall I do with Daphne? Daphne? My carrier. What shall I do with it? I could make a suggestion. <laughs> You'd better take a long ride. Right. Phew. There are two or three dead bush in there. Tell me, how far is it to the farm? The other side of the plane. An hour's march, no more. Mind if I walk with you? Can gunners walk? <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you. <laughs> Position, sir. Good. All set. Yes, sir. Come on. What's that?
Not yet, sir. Good. Then bring the platoon commanders in, Tom. Yes, sir. Well, there it is. If you can see the Bosch from that little box up top, he can see you getting up there. That means you'll have to spend the whole day out there. Up before dawn, down after death. Think how peaceful it'll be. Tranquil hours with the poets. Earth! Earth! Earth, Fefra! Nearly got yourself shot then, Abdul. Go on, Hobby. Scram! Yes, Fefra! Allez-vous-en! They hang on these walk farmers, don't they? No, you can't blame them. It's not their war. Right side, Major. Set up Company HQ here in the yard. The plumes will dig in on that hillside, number 14 platoon on the right flank, number 15 on the left. And I want two men well out on the ridge in case of enemy patrol. Any questions? No, sir. Right. Bring in the platoons. of them, all over the world. Holes. Dig. Holes. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I wish I could find myself a nice fat scorpion. You know what scorpion sting means, Charlie? A week in a field hospital. Get you out of this little lot. Now, there's easier ways out of it than that, Clarky boy. Have you thought about what I was saying before? Ah, uh, you keep on about that. Why don't you dry up? Where'd we go? Miles, where are we going to get there? Hitchhike. There's loads of traffic in that road out of Madges. I've seen it. Big out air sea convoys. But where are we going to go when we got there? Up in that car's bar. Plenty of blokes have done it. Yanks, Aussies, British. Come on, you two. Get cracking. You know what to do in the case of a Bosch patrol? Yeah. Ask them in for cocktails. Down your lip, Webworth. You fixed bayonets some weight of wood. There'll be no shooting, you understand? If there's any shooting, we'll have the whole German army on us. Major's orders. And none of them is to get back alive. Bang's in the dark, so it's come up. How are we going to know who's who? Well, I'll tell you, Shy. You give him a poke up the behind with your bayonet, see, and see which language he swears in. Oh, oh, I see. Sarge. Sarge, there's a dead bot over here. All right, Ellis. Better leave him there. I'll tell the Major. There'll be complete wireless silence, Livingston. Listen only all around the dial. We're near enough to the bosch to pick out their signals. Let me know if you get anything. Right, sir. Yes, Kate. We found a dead Bosch outside, sir. Been there a long time, I'd say. Oh. Well, finish off your positions and bury him. Yes, sir. And watch out for booby traps. Very good, sir. I'll need a spare headset and plenty of cable aims. Very good, sir. Where's that chart? Oh, here we are, sir. First call 0610. I'll contact Regimental HQ and then put you through, sir. That's right. Otherwise, complete wireless silence. Very good, sir. Sir, have you thought how you're going to stay up in the tower, sir? There's an iron box up there, some kind of housing for the gears. That'd be proper sweat box. Yes. So what happens if the Bosch sticks his nose in? Our job is to get the guns registered. The infantry will take care of the rest. I really well hope so. Come on, the officer, sir. Now, how's it going, Jared? Settling down? Yes, thank you, sir. Another hour, I should see us dug in. Good. Well, here's your company mail and the usual bump. Thank you, sir. Oh, can the gunners use that wind pump? We think so, sir. There's a ladder. Splendid. Well, the replacements have arrived. I've brought them up with me. At last. How many, sir? One officer and five other ranks. Five? That's all. I'm afraid they're raw, most of them. Straight out from England. Still, they're, they're better than none. Are they, sir? On a job like this? And what about them? Chucked into action before they've had time to learn the first thing about it? What earthly chance have they got, poor devils? You're not responsible for that. Then who is? The war, I suppose. It's usually the war, isn't it? Yes, and we've got to win it. I know, sir. How about the rest of your men? Will, will they stick it out? They always have, sir. Get a long rest after all this. Yes. We'll all be marching into Tunis before long. Yes. I'll let you have some anti-tank mines as soon as I can.
Mr. Vernon? Coming. Very glad to have you, Vernon. Take a few of them. Cigarette? Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, you're straight out from England. What have you been doing? Oh, beach defense, same old mudlock. Oh, no. By the way, any chance of getting my captaincy back? Had to take down a pit when I came out here. Oh, you all have to do that. Mm, makes quite a difference to the old pay packet. Yes, I suppose it does. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thanks. Matter of fact, I'm pretty senior, you know. What are the other officers doing? There are no other officers. Oh. Oh, I get it. The old dog's body, that's about it, isn't it? Oh, well, where do I start? You'll be my second in command. Suits me. Do I get a bat one? You can share middle ditch with me. Well, you'd better start digging me a funk hole. In this company, it's the rule for officers to dig their own. Middle ditch is also the company runner. He has quite enough to do. You can bed down in here for the moment. Okay, Major, a rule's a rule. Very true. I'll start showing you the company positions tomorrow. Meantime, we've got a tough job on our hands. I should get some sleep, if I will. Things seem quiet enough. <laughs> booby-trapped. Who got it? Corporal Adams and Harris, sir. Never knew what hit them. It was a double trap. We found the first one. There must have been another one hidden underneath. I'm sorry, sir. You didn't do it, Sergeant. Go back to your men and get ready. All digging must finish in 20 minutes. There'll be a patrol coming over that bridge. Maybe they think it's a mine. We can't risk that. They must have heard it a mile off. Off you go, Gates. You know what to do? Yes, sir. I know just what to do. Tom wants Sergeant Nichols, William. We'll take prisoners if we can, but not a man must get back over that bridge. Right, sir. Do the Germans always booby-trap their own dead like that? Not always, just often. Get hold of that new lot and get them under cover. I'll see them all tomorrow. Well, it's up to you, Major, but I should have thought it was fine. Just do it. How bad is it? Pretty bad, sir. Here's his book, sir. Oh, 
He looks just he? a kid, sir. Eighteen. Served in Russia. Mochi. Mochi. What's that mean, sir? Mochi? Yes, sir. <laughs> Mother. Six on me. Yes, sir. There were seven, one missing. Sun Gates had a search party out. No sign. The man may be wounded, hiding on the hill somewhere. Anyone on that ladder is going to be a sitting duck. A bit shivery this morning, isn't it? Yes, sir. Funny time of this. It's always shivery this time of morning, sir. Yeah. Oh, just about ready, sir. Bit of bad news here, Dick. You'd better know. One of them got away. Oh. <laughs> Big one? We think he was probably wounded, hiding out there somewhere. Next thing you know, it'll snow. Don't worry. If he shows himself, we'll get him. Everything we've got's trained on the hillside, sir. Just let him show his nose. Ah, uh, well, here we go. Get those guns ran. Yes, sir. Good luck. Nearly there. Come on, show yourself, you... He's there. Peter Fox Sugar 7, here tuning call. Able make a Charlie Dog, able make a Charlie Easy, able make a Charlie Fox. Tuning call ends. Here netting call, net now. Hello, Peter Fox Sugar 7. Report my signals, Peter Fox Sugar 7, over. Hello, Peter 7. Okay, over. Hello, Peter 7. Pass fire orders, over. Here we go. Hello, Peter Seven. Hello, Peter Seven. Take hold! Target able. Map reference 291535. Right ranging. Over. Fire by order. 88850. Eight, 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 eight. Ready, 50 sets. Down, Down one. one. Ready. Peter Seven, ready. Over. Hello, Peter Seven. Fire. Over. Fire! Not bad. Not bad at all. Hello, Peter Seven. More one degree. Down 50. Repeat. Over. Take over then, will you? Thank you, Major. Wife and kids, see? Always doll yourself up for a photo. Sergeant Major! Yes, sir. See what's happening there? Is this your mother? That's fraternization. 
I never stop that, sir. Don't think I want to, really. He may be the bastard that booby-trapped that dead man. What do you think we're fighting this war for? Me, sir? Yes, you. Never get it much short, sir. I'm a regular soldier, sir. My job. Makes the whole thing absurd. Yes, sir. So where it came from? On the hillside, sir. Half left. Middle ditch. Yes, sir. Go and tell Sergeant Gates to take his platoon forward and come to the hillside. Hurry. I wouldn't do that, sir. Thank you, Sergeant Major. I know what I'm doing. Middle ditch would never make it, sir. And if Sergeant Gates did get his men moving, the man would pick off half a dozen before they got even near him. Go on, Middle ditch. Get cracking. Beg your pardon, sir. It's a one-man job, this. Where'd he come from? Half left, sir. Somewhere on the hillside. I've ordered Gates to take his platoon forward. Little Hitch, give me a tolly gun. Right, sir. I'm a better shot than you are, sir. Sorry, Tom. This is my baby. Here you are, sir. And tell Ames to tell Captain Meade to keep his ruddy head down. Very good, sir. I want posting to another company, another battalion, if I can get it. Go and get on with your job. I have no job. Look, Vernon. You've got very little idea yet what it's all about. And how am I supposed to learn when you pull rank on me every time I open my mouth? All right, let's forget about rank for a few minutes. Now, come on, let's have it. What's the bellyache? To start with, you made me look a complete fool out there just now. The sergeant major argues when I give him an order and you back him up. And isn't it better that you should look a fool and that half a dozen men should get themselves killed? Anything else? You don't like the way the stretcher bearer talks to that wounded German boy. Who told you that? Nobody told me. I saw it in your face. Have they forgotten the fellow would have shot the lot of us if he could? Yet they call him chum and show him snapshots of their wives and kids. Yes. Rather fine, isn't it? Fine! Yes, fine. Look, the curious thing about war is that it brings out the worst and the best in us both at once. The worst is what we're fighting against. And the best is what makes it sometimes almost worthwhile. I don't get it. There's something here that all these chaps seem to share. Some sort of secret. Lime on the outside. Look, Vernon. In 24 hours, most of those chaps out there will have had it. Perhaps that's the secret. 
How do you mean? If we don't get an order to withdraw, which is in the highest degree unlikely, the farm in square 2735 will cease to exist by dawn. Oh. That's us. That's us. So you see, what happens outside this particular farmyard isn't very important just now. If I were you, I'd leave it outside. We're all in the same boat. You expect a lot from those chaps out on the hill. They expect the same from you. Work it out for yourself. Don't look to me for a series of beautiful thoughts. Any that I ever had went astray a long time ago. I'm moved by men, not ideas. So I'm not asking you to take me as any kind of an example. There are far better. The best of all is yourself, your own conscience. What you conceive to be the right way to do your job and stick to it. Nobody can ever ask more of you than that. Now let's get on with the war, shall we? Vernon, you can see the CO tonight if you want. Sir, there's a Bosch Reiki car coming this way. Middlest, tell the Major, quick. Right, sir. Everybody under cover. Under cover! Warten Sie mal. Weiß nicht recht. Hallo? Hallo? 78. Rufe 78. Try the higher frequencies. Herr Mayer, wenn das Gehör jetzt nicht besetzt ist, ist es jedenfalls gewesen. Legen wir doch mal ein paar Schuss drauf. Hügelgrad. Plus 600. Schuss 1. Nein. Nein. 200 nach links. Plus 50. There, hold that. Zweiter Schuss. Feuer. Aha, dachte ich mir. Hallo, hallo. Das Gehöft ist besetzt. Ja, plus 50. Alle Geschütze. Fünf Gruppen. Feuer. That's torn it. They know we're here. Livingston, jam that frequency. Quick. Jam it, sir? What with? Don't do anything. Shout. Sing. Here's your chance to play that infernal mouth organ of yours. Come on, play it into this. Quick. Now Over here. Quick. Straight you there. Mike target. Mike target. Enemy OP. Seven three five plus six hundred. Come on, shout! Make it loud! Come on, shout! Make it loud! Come on, shout! Three rounds gunfire. Fire! Six thousand. Three rounds gunfire. Fire! 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 Hello, Peter Seven. Thanks. Okay. Out.
Captain Meade's compliments, sir. He always knew the infantry was a bunch of choir boys. Sir. Seems to be that. No, they know we're here. Couldn't be helped, sir. No, I suppose not. Think they'll take a bash at us today, sir? Either dusk tonight or dawn tomorrow. Yes, sir. We stick it out, I take it. That's right. Nice and simple. The CO will be here tonight with some anti tank mines. Better have a laying party standing by. And get the new boys ready to join their platoon. Yes, sir. It was only some shade. Five more hours. Stand to, boys. Come on, stand to. All through ends? Yes, sir, for today, some time ago, sir. It's dark enough for him to come down, no? Yes, sir, but there's no reply, sir. I think something must be wrong, sir. Wrong? Well, I keep calling him, sir, but there's no answer. Call him again. Right you are, sir. Hello, Captain Meade. Captain Shut Meade. what? Can you hear me, sir? Ames here, sir. Make a mess of it. Come down now, sir. Dark. Hello, Captain Meade. Captain Meade. He's been answering all day. Yes, sir. Mustn't make a mess of it. Hello, Captain Meade. Captain Meade, sir. It's all right, sir. Yeah. Come down now, sir. Yes, I'm here. Now, Captain Mead, sir. What? Captain Mead. Captain Mead, sir. Captain Mead. Finished? Keep calling. Right, sir. Hello, Captain Mead. Sergeant Major? Something's wrong with Captain Mead. Sunstroke, I should think. I'm going up. Hello, Captain Mead. It's all right, sir. You can come down now, sir. Time to come Captain down. Captain Mead. It's dark now, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Ames here, sir. Captain Mead, you can come down now, sir. It's dark. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm coming. Sir! It's all right. He's coming down. Uh, uh, uh. I'm all right. I'm coming. Gotta get down. Get these on. Get some blankets. Right. Come on, I'll get you inside. Can you make it? Yes. Thought you'd hand it that time, Abba. So did I. Uh. 
The fever's going down, sir. I'd let him sleep. I've been raving. A bit. Feel better? Oh, brother. What a headache. What's the time? Nearly ten. Oh. I didn't come then. No. What the blazes are you doing there, Middleton? Brewing up, sir. You know better than to show a light. Yes. There'll be no tea till daybreak. Yes. Expected to fight the ruddy war without a cup of tea, no? Job for you, Vernon. Color sergeant's just come up with a hot meal for the men. Get him into it section by section, will you? Okay. So it's tomorrow morning, eh? Looks like it. Writing letters. Lines to the next of kin. Adams and Harris last night. Alan. Hmm? Are you married? I was. Oh. Dick, are you sure you're going to be up to it by dawn? My CO's due up here in a few minutes. We can get somebody else up if you're not fit enough. Like hell you will, you old stinker. No, I'm serious. So am I. All right. Tell me, what happened to your wife? Ran off with another fellow a couple of years ago. Go to sleep, you blighter. Yes, sir. It's going to be a long night. The Colonel's here, sir. Oh, good evening, Jared. Good evening, sir. Hey, uh, thank you, Now, well, what's this? Oh, you'll be all right, sir. Just a touch of sunstroke. We can't afford to have this OP not working. Is the GOC dissatisfied, sir? I'd be pleased so far, but if he's not better by midnight, you better let me know. You can break wireless silence to do so. That sounds already been broken. Why? What happened? They sent a patrol out last night, which we dealt with. This morning, they put a gunner OP up on the ridge and started shelling. We had to jam their wavelength. Afraid they know we're here, sir. I'm surprised they haven't tried to shell you out altogether, since they know. Perhaps they're saving it. Perhaps so. Well, I've got some good news for you. We kick off tomorrow morning. Ninth Corps move up behind us. Two armoured and two infantry divisions. Fifth Corps follow. The Americans are going for Bizerta, and we're going for Tunis. In fact, this is it. What's our role, sir? Well, Von Arnhem's expected to chuck a spanner in the works by attacking at the same time. A local shindy around here. So we have to hold on where we are for the moment, stop him, and then let our armour through. And C Company? That's what this OP's for, to help to stop him. Once our armor's on the move, I hope to get you an order to pull out. I see. How's Vernon settling down? Vernon? Oh, yes, he rather wanted to see you, sir. He feels he's been pretty badly treated. I know it would make him feel better if I might suggest it. What? Let him decide for himself whether he's to stay here or go to another company. We really haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Then he'll be a bad officer, wherever he's sent. All right. I'll talk to you. Thanks. But hurry. I'll send him in. Vernon? You wanted to talk to me, Vernon. Don't you like being with this company? Would you sooner go to one of the others? Major Gerard left it up to you. So do I. Take your choice.
I'll stay, sir. You sure? Quite sure, sir. All right. Good luck. about anti-tank mines, Vern? On beaches, anyway. Think you could lay a couple of fields by dawn? I'll have a crack at it, sir. Good. Come on. In she goes, my little beauty. Next one over there. chance, Clarky boy. It's now or never. It'll be light in a couple of hours. What about it? What do you keep talking about it for, Charlie? Why don't you just go if you want to? What, me alone? What's up with you? Scared stiff if you want to know. How'd I ever face the other boys if I saw them again? Well, they can do the same, can't they? Yeah. I know how many of them have, eh? All right, I'll go by myself. You think I'm going to stay here and get done in for sweet? I'm shifting you, Clark. You're coming in with me. Wentworth, you take one of the new boys, Ferguson, in with you. Number two on the Brent. Come off it, Sarge. Look, Clark and me have been together for two years. Can't help that. Come on, look sharp. In you go, Ferguson. Wait, what? Show him the ropes. Thing, Jim. You dig a hole, it's always the lousiest hole you ever dug in your life. You live in it for a few days, it's like home. Like this one. I shall hate to leave this little hole of ours, Jim, straight. Oh. Perhaps we won't leave it this time. Get on with it, we haven't got all night. Out of the millions of pipe pounds in the British Army, I've got to get you. What your mother thinks you're doing, let her out by yourself. I don't know what we're That's heartbreaking, that's what it is. I'm going to walk out of this mob. How can I go and leave you by yourself? Ever seen a brand gun? Yes, yes, I've... Not one like this, sure haven't. She's special, she is. Temperamental, see? For instance, if you don't wet the ground under a gas escape hole, she'll blow sand back into your eyes. Where'd you be then, huh? Where do you get the water from, Wentworth? Oh. How many more, Sergeant Major? About a dozen, sir. Hurry them up. Right, sir. All right, come on. Let's see how you shape up to it. That's no good. I can see somebody's got to hold your hand. Now, listen, Fergie boy. All that stuff you taught back home, you forget it, see? I'll show you how to use the brand gun. Now, come here, Sonny. turning the drunks out of the back room about now, in the old rose and crap. You've got that pub on the brain. On the brain? <laughs> this and Corp, the rose and crown's my war aim. Just give me the rose and crown and my missus on a Saturday night. <laughs> you can keep the rest. Hurry it up! Sarge, do you think they're coming? Who, the Bosch? Yeah. You wait. Another hour, they'll be coming down that hill as thick as flies. Last one, sir. Bloody good. No 
those are ours. Sweet music. All set, sir. Thank you, Ames. Well, don't leave without me. If we do, grab a taxi. <laughs> Minefield's completed, sir. Good for you, Michael. Grab yourself a dummy gun. Right. Everyone standing to some minutes. Yes, sir. Nice and sweet. Thank you, Middleditch. Funny thing, sir. Always a sort of ash before it starts. Yeah. Heaven and earth hold their breath. Worst time, really. Why don't they come? They feel the same, sir? I expect so, Mildred. This is a time when you start to think of home. Bad for you. Yeah. You're not married, are you, sir? Me? No. Don't you think I got enough to worry about? <laughs> Look out! in die Flanke einzusetzen.
There it is. We'll never get them out with these things. Got any grenades? A couple. Right. Oh, you lousy crops! Well done, chaps. Oh, I'll get too old for this. You all right, Ben? Oh. Yeah. Must have eaten something. Happens to all of us. Coming again on the left. We've held it. Die Reserve mit Panzer ein. Beats gun fire holding, you know. You müssen diese Bestelle aufschalten. Hände. Wir müssen die Artillerie kontrolle. Verlangen Sie Luftminen gegen den Turm. Schnell! Ja. Hallo, Peter Seven. Sir, message from 
Sir. Right on, Major. Get them out. One section at a time, back to the yard. Bit late, sir, but I'll try. Right. Take over, Vernon. Ames, tell Captain Mead to come down. We're getting out. Yes. Captain Mead said he'd give you covering fire. Give me that. Dick, Hello. come down. Now. Look, don't worry. I'm all right. I've asked for smoke. To hell with the smoke. Come down. Won't be a minute. Hello, Peter Seven. Where's that smoke? Ah! Ah! Get him out of here, Fred. Get him out. Get him back. Boy, come on, Gretel. Out. Come on, son. Get back to the farm. Watch out. Come on, son. Don't out. wait. Get back. Go on, out. Right, you two. Get back to the farm. Get back. Back to the farm now. Be out. Guys, no ambush. Carry on, move. Move, blast you! Ames, come on out of here, quick. I can't leave Captain Mead up there, sir. I'll take care of that. Come on. All right, sir. Das Gehabt des Vernommen. Widerstand überwunden. 
Wir rücken weiter vor. Na wohl. Geben Sie der Artillerie die neuen Ziele. Informieren Sie die Flugstaffel, dass das Gehöft genommen ist. Jawohl, Herr General. Lassen Sie die Panzer neu gruppieren. Zu Befehl, Herr General. Der Angriff geht weiter. Jawohl, Herr General. Ich werde diesen Posten als vorgeschobene Befehlsstelle benutzen. Lassen Sie den Zip weg. Report my signals. Report my signals. Hello, Peter Seven. Erste Hello, Panzer Peter Gruppe Seven. und zwei Kompanien Infanterie bleiben zur Bedeckung Report zurück. Report my signals. Zu Befehl, Herr General. Hello, Peter Seven. Pass fresh target. Fast fresh target. Fast fresh target. Hello, Peter Seven. Fast fresh target. Farm in square 2735. Everything you've got. Let's get going. The last of C Company. The men who had held the farm at square 2735. They had delayed von Arnhem's attack long enough for the first army to swing into action. Three days later, Tunis fell. The gateway to Europe was opened. 